So I've just arrived at BeautyCon and I've come to this Open Glory booth which is where I'm going to be today and I'm so excited. <laughs> so there's a little pink tree over here which is so cute and then there's a little sofa, obviously everything is pink and yeah I think Lucy and Lydia are going to be doing a meet up here later um, and at the moment it's like quite a while before BeautyCon actually starts so I'm just chilling, waiting for people to get here. And I got given a personalized den jacket, which is so cool, it has my name on the back. <laughs> Guys, I'm actually dying. There is a pug at BeautyCon and it is the cutest thing I have ever seen. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So at the Soap and Glory booth, you can get like a personalized makeup product if you take a selfie in their selfie booth, which is really, really cool. Um, and yeah, there's quite a few of people now, so I'm just kind of chilling, hanging around, and it's really exciting. Oh, sorry! <laughs> so guys, on the point where do you guys want to see your channel names? Um, Simply Emmy on YouTube. And Lushly Abby. Yeah, so we have just met up, and we're currently at the Soap and Glory little booth thing, which has a really cool little tree. And I want to of Christmas Yeah, same. Uh, so what are you guys doing? Well, we're going to meet some people over there. A bit. Somebody just gave me this letter, simply Marcy X, and it's literally the cutest thing I have ever seen. So thank you so so much. I have never had a letter before, and I just read it and got really emotional. So thank you. Do you know what time? So I thought I'd give you guys a little update. Um, I'm currently in the little creative room thing. I managed to find myself a cheeseburger, which was actually pretty gross. But yeah, I've had such a good day so far. It's been really really tiring. I'm not really doing much for the rest of the day, I'm just kind of like hanging around. Um, but I'll give you a little tour of the room. So there's loads of little like stands and stuff. And there is these two beautiful ladies right here. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. It's just like a little space where we can chill. <laughs> Look how cute this little guy is. He's so tired. So long ago for me, but at the same time, I can remember it like yesterday because I remember just feeling that hopelessness of like, what is my purpose? To be honest, I still don't know what it is, but I have a better idea, I think. And I think the best advice I can say is to just get involved. Like when I made that vlog and I made my first video, I was literally scared shitless to do it. Can I say shitless? Is that even allowed? Somebody's gonna... Anyway, shitless. Um, I, I was so terrified to do it, and I think like doing those things that scare you, whatever, it's so cliche, but it is kind of true, because if I would not have done that, I genuinely don't know what I would have done. And I think it's also just kind of like boiling it down to like, what are you actually passionate about? Like, what do you like? You know, and then just try to do something like that. I mean, I know so many people going through it, you know, older than me, younger than me. And it's a really difficult thing. So I think just try as many things as you can try. Good luck. Wow, I'm so oily. Literally, guys, this is what my skin looks like at the end of the day. Beautiful. I can't be asked to powder, so you guys are going to actually know. I need to powder. My light's literally reflecting off my forehead. Life of an oily skin girl. Yay. Be right back. So I think that's a little bit better. Still look a bit oily, I missed a few patches, but oh well, let's just ignore that. Um, sorry if you can hear my laptop whirring in the background, I'm actually just editing a video, but I just came on here to say that I forgot to finish my vlog for BeautyCon. I literally do this all the time. Whenever I go out somewhere for the day, I come home at the end of the day and just forget to finish my vlog. So I'm finishing it now. Ignore my weird jumper thing. It's not supposed to have like a t-shirt on underneath it because it's like a choker and it looks a bit weird with this, but oh well, I was cold, so I just put it on. But anyway, um, I had the most amazing day at BeautyCon. I met some amazing people. I met some amazing like YouTubers as well, which was so cool. Um, like I spent most of my day with uh, Sophie Foster and Jordan. If you guys know them, I'm sure you guys do. They're amazing. And they were so nice to me. They kind of took me under their wing because I had no friends. Yeah, no, I'm not actually even joking. I went to BeautyCon not knowing anyone else going um, uh, because I was invited by Soap and Glory, if I haven't mentioned that already. 
Um, and yeah, I didn't actually know anyone else going. And obviously, all the other guys are like kind of friends. The guy, the girls that are with red hair, they're all friends. Um, and I'm not with any management or anything, so I was just kind of like a lone fox. Is that even a saying? But yeah, so I went by myself and and Jordan and Sophie very kindly let me hang around with them for like pretty much most of the day. But they were so nice and we got on so well. So thank you girls if you're watching for including me and being really, really nice. And they are both amazing at makeup. So if you're not subscribed to them, then check out their channels. I also got to meet some other YouTubers as well. Um, I met Roxy from Rocksaurus and Layla, they were both so lovely, um, again if they're watching this I'm sure they absolutely won't be but um, again just thank you so much for including me and being really really nice when I was like had times when I was by myself, like it just made me feel so included. Um, I also met Becca Lamin or sorry Becca if I pronounced your surname wrong, she was super super lovely um, and there were just so many girls that I got to meet who really really nice and it really I don't know I felt really inspired after coming home from Beautycon like it really made me more motivated to like continue making videos which obviously I was going to do anyway but I don't know everyone was just really nice and it was really inspiring and I got to hang out in the creator room for loads of the day and it was honestly the weirdest thing it was so surreal like there was like Pixie Woo, Sam and Nick, um, Fleur from Fleur de Force, uh, Gracie, Fran Gracie Francesca, like Lily Pebbles, Lily Melrose, Helen Anderson, Marina Joyce was there, she actually seemed super super sweet, she was so tiny, she's like 5 foot, she's smaller than me which is insane, Este, Naomi, Naomi Smart, um, I'm just trying to think of all of the people that were there but there were so many people there that I've literally watched for ages since I was like 12 but because I was in the creator room and I was like one of the creators like with them I felt like I couldn't go over and say hi or like ask for a photo or anything because I didn't want to seem like I was fangirling so I just kind of like didn't say anything to them and then I kind of wish that I did because I don't know I mean they're only normal people and I don't know why I got so like scared to go and talk to them like Sam and Nick from Pixie Woo, I've literally watched since I was like 12 and I think they're amazing, they're so inspirational and I would have loved to like gone and chatted to them but I was just too scared so god damn yourself and Lucy and Lydia were also there like working on the Soap and Glory thing but I didn't really see them because they were quite busy doing the meet up um, but yeah there were so many amazing people there and I just was too scared to go and like talk to some of them but Oh well, I'm sure there will be a next time. Actually, there might not be, but I don't know. Um, but anyway, I got home from Beautycon. Oh, also, I just want to say thank you so much to M Ford. She's not going to be watching this at all, but M Ford from My Pale Skin. At the end of the day, uh, basically, Soap and Glory had arranged for me to get a taxi back to my house. Um, but believe it or not, I had never actually been in a taxi before by myself until Saturday. Which I know is kind of crazy for some people, but like, I don't travel a lot by myself really ever because... I've explained this before but I have um, anxiety and it's mostly like death anxiety a lot of it's focused around travel and um, it kind of stemmed from the London bombings like ages ago when I was like seven and yeah I'm not gonna go into too much because it's really bringing down the vlog but basically I haven't done a lot of traveling by myself um, so Saturday was like the first time I'd ever been in a taxi by myself I was so nervous and at the end of the day it was really really dark I couldn't find my taxi like the taxi man wasn't anywhere I didn't want to just get in a like I didn't want to walk outside by myself or get in a random taxi because obviously like I was looking out for the number plate of my taxi and yeah M Ford really helped me out she phoned the taxi company for me and she refused to get in her taxi until she knew that I was like safe and stuff she was like I'm not gonna leave you by yourself so I was so so grateful for that like she probably didn't realize how much I was grateful for that but yeah that was so nice for her so yeah so I just met so many lovely people and obviously you guys I met so many amazing subscribers um there was one girl who even gave me a letter I think she was called Simply Marcy X I played it earlier on in the vlog which I was totally not expecting and like that was the first letter I've ever gotten and it oh my god it was just the most amazing thing ever and so many of you guys were so so lovely and just thank you for coming over and saying hi and making my day amazing but when I got home I was absolutely exhausted I couldn't stand up I felt sick I was like every bone in my body was aching I was so so tired I've never been so exhausted but it was totally worth it and I've been in hibernation for the past like two days which is why I didn't get a chance to finish my vlog so I'm going to end this here uh, because I'm sure it's going to be quite a long one and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!